Hey, I'm Liz Kodalik, student reporter with No99, and everyone knows what this is. It's an iPod, and I use mine to listen to music. The One Valley School District earned a bunch of these through a grant, and they found a way to use them for learning. I visited Valley View to check it out for myself. For the fun to get started, Julia sat at the back of the bus with her four best friends. Her four best friends. Yep, you're seeing this right. The iPod that I use to listen to pop music is helping students at Valley View strengthen their reading skills. Gotta love technology, right? The idea of practicing reading fluency is an old idea, and even having kids record it is an old idea, something that educators have been doing in their classrooms for a while, but the iPods uh, sort of make it slicker and shinier and exciting for the kids. So how exactly does this work? Step one, each student reads out loud and records himself on their iPod. Step two, the students listen to their recordings and pick which one they like the best. Step three, the students return to the librarian's desk with their iPods, leading to... Step four, the students plug their iPods in and upload their favorite version onto this computer. Each student has their own folder where their best work is saved. Once the recordings are uploaded, the teacher can listen to them at any time. So Mr. Barunda, what sort of things are you looking for when you're grading? Uh, well, first I'm looking for growth. Um, I'm listening for fluency. I'm listening for any um, sort of miscues, there's any errors that they're um, consistently having. And this just gauges my instruction. The little bit of data that we get back is very positive in terms of uh, the progress monitoring that the teachers do in their classroom. An iPod is really fun to have, but at the same time, you're also learning. Valley View, as well as six other schools in the Roosevelt District, has used a $546,000 federal grant aimed at improving literacy through school libraries to purchase smart boards, Apple computers, and of course, iPods. Who knew that having an iPod can make learning this much fun? Let's practice again. I wanted to take my stepmother out to dinner for her birthday. This has been Liz Kodalik reporting for No 99.